What's up, you two? Hope everybody has had an amazing holiday weekend. And by holiday, I mean Halloween weekend. It is now officially November, which is insane because I feel like, you know, it was literally just August. So, like, or like Labor Day. Like, I don't know. Wild. It's November and it's cold. It's like winter is a coming. I have had an amazing holiday weekend. My friend Gabby has been here from Chicago slash high school. So we've been kicking it all week. Uh, we went to a Halloween party on Thursday because um, it was Halloween. Um, and we were dressed as um, a Hugh Hefner and she was a bunny. So that was amazing. Um, I probably shouldn't have gone though because I am in lots and lots of lots of pain. I had a biopsy surgery last Monday. So almost a week from now, yeah, Monday. Uh, so that happened. Uh, it was for a inflamed slash swollen lymph node um, that they couldn't figure out why it was there. Um, I went into urgent care about two weeks ago and I was like, hey, there's this like big bump right where like, you know, the groin area is slash like where a hernia would go. Um, but it didn't like feel like, I didn't think it was a hernia. Um, neither did they. So they were like, you need to go to the ER. Um, and I was like, okay, <laughs> gets a little bit, a little scared. Um, you know, going to the ER, I've never been to the ER. It was a weird experience. Um, and like, they were like, okay, this is a hernia. Make an appointment. Basically, it was not a hernia. It was a swollen lymph node. They had no idea what it was. I took antibiotics to um, get rid of it. And the antibiotics did not really work. Like the swelling went down but it didn't like go away. So since it didn't go away, I had surgery to remove it. Um, but the doctor called me and they said it was non-malignant, which is good or however you pronounce that. I'm like, I say it really fast because I get really nervous. Malign malignant, I think that's how you, it was non-cancerous. It was not, <laughs> sorry you guys. Um, it was not like a cancer. It's not, like, it was, the doctor said I came into contact with some exposed like substance or something or like, some bacteria he said i came into contact with something um and that like i'm all clear now because he removed it and it was no longer swollen and causing problems um and that's kind of like all he said which is that's like kind of makes me nervous because it was like okay well then like what did i have like do lymph nodes just swell up for no reason or like do they swell up because like infections right <laughs> and so what was infecting me that's no longer infecting me now even if it wasn't necessarily cancer anyway i have been trying to obviously after the surgery i was taking it easy um i didn't really go anywhere it was like i could still walk and i had painkillers um they gave me like tylenol 3 which like honestly isn't working but i think that's because i've just been moving around a lot now so like i was resting up until like thursday like, i had gone out and done a few things like but i hadn't like really moved moved around um and then thursday like i went out um and then like after that it's just been like it hasn't like been hurting hurting like a lot lot until like i go out and do things like i just got back from lunch or brunch with gabby it's four o'clock which is weird because we went to brunch uh we went to brunch and then we went like shopping and that was just like a lot of walking around and doing things so like then it started to like sort of surge in pain um, and I guess, technically speaking, I guess I would have been coming off of my pain meds as well. Because it says take every four hours. But, like, I don't know. Like, it didn't hurt as much nearly as, like, when I got out of the hospital. But then again, I was also on meds. So I'm not sure if it's just, like, hurting right now because of the meds. But I also just took some Tylenol 3 and it's still hurting. And when I say I also just took, I meant, like, I took it, like, a good 15 minutes ago. So I feel like this would be fine. Um... Regardless of my pain, I'm making this video to explain sort of how like I was feeling throughout all of this because you know like it was a possibility that I might have had cancer and it was on um, right around the anniversary that my mom told me she had cancer and that it was right around my friend Sarah's birthday who died of cancer that all of this was going on. I think the surgery was actually on her birthday. Wild. Uh, the worst part about all of this I think is that like I kind of it sounds so fucked up to say, but I kind of wanted something to be wrong with me. Um, and I don't know why. It was just, it wasn't like I really, like I didn't really want to have cancer or anything. It's not like I was saying like, I was like, oh, I was sad I didn't have cancer. Like I didn't, like I was scared. I was genuinely scared. I was like, oh no, like cancer runs in my family. Like this is it. Like what if I have cancer? But like, you know, like this would be like terrible. But at the same time I was thinking like, hmm, like I never, I don't know what I'm doing with my life right now. Um, like 
in terms of like I just never expected to live this long slash like I just didn't plan for this stage and all the things I've been talking to y'all about in terms of just like not knowing anything about my future job wise career wise relationship wise being tired of fighting through like my mood and tired of fighting the depression every season and tired of fighting the mania and the impulses like I'm just like all of this has been so like so tiring and like therapy and doctors and like multiple therapies and multiple doctors and bills and like hospitals and like all of this like has been super annoying getting cut yeah, i'm getting limbs chopped off that's what it feels like until like there's basically nothing left i was telling my father that like you know i'm so tired of like having to keep being positive having to keep thinking positive thinking like how like i'm tired of thinking about my mood constantly i'm always tired of thinking about like what's impacting my mood i'm tired of thinking about like what i can do that impacts my mood can i drink tonight can i go out with my friends can i do these things with my friends like why am i feeling this way it's like analyzing like my anxieties my fears my my traumas like realizing like pulling up like traumas that i really really don't want to deal with that's a completely different video but therapy this week was like hard and i had to deal with a lot of things that i like kind of forgot about and like i'm just tired of all of this so what if like you know i did get cancer and like i did die like maybe this would have been like the chapter of my life that's over like i have had if i died right now i feel like i've had a great life i graduated college and that's sort of like all i kind of thought life was about was school and that's it now it's over um and like i got a job i'm living in atlanta like peaks in life right like i don't know and i know that sounds so fucked up to say and like i don't mean it logically in my mind like i logically i know that like no you can't like wish cancer on yourself you can't wish like death on yourself and like i'm not wishing that at all like i don't want to die like i don't feel suicidal um i like i'm excited for life i'm excited for what life brings i'm excited for like i'm ex i'm happy for the future but there is a part of me that's like it's just tired that's exactly and that's and if that was if cancer was going to be the thing that was going to wipe me out and like i would have been like well not surprised slash like relieved that i don't have to figure out like, like if i had cancer i don't have to figure out work next week or the next two weeks i don't have to figure out I, I, all i have to figure out is like living like figuring out how to live and i think that's like it's a weird in a weird way that's how i thought about school like for most of my life i didn't have to think about anything but school school was always my parents always told me like school is your number one priority like you have other things going on yes relationships like obviously like i was dealing with like relationships and traumas and like <laughs> with there with my mom and my friends and all of that like passing away and like all of that stuff um yes but like at the same time like school really was just like school school is like what i have to focus on and now it's like school is not the priority life living being happy my job i don't know what should be the priority i don't know what is and you know i just feel like if i had some terminal illness that's all i would have to focus on again and i wouldn't have to i could ignore everything else and i just am kind of not realizing that and that sounds even more fucked up than just wanting to die i don't know i just felt some type of way about wanting to have like you know or like thinking like hmm it wouldn't be bad if i had cancer or like it wasn't wanting to have it it was more so like if i have it you know oh well i'm not gonna be upset if i die i'm not gonna be upset and that's sort of like how i started feeling b a few months like a few months ago before i had my depressive episode like i was telling my therapist not a few months ago a few years ago telling my therapist that like you know i don't feel suicidal but like if i got hit by a truck I wouldn't be I wouldn't be upset necessarily like you know if I die from getting hit by that truck then I've lived a good life if I'm in a coma well then I'll wake up when I wake up it what happens what happens but I would I jump in front of a truck no I don't know what that means um I hope depressive episodes not coming because the winter is coming and that would just be kind of scary how I can predict that and slash like why am I predicting depressive episode like why can't I change the future if that makes sense like why like, why am I forecasting this to happen if this does happen, if I know it's going to happen? Slash, like, how do I make myself not, like, want to think about wanting terminal illnesses? Like, that's bad. I feel, like, just shitty for that. Um, but, yeah, I am here. I am in a lot of pain. I'm, I, I'm hobbling along, but it's okay. I don't have anything wrong with me as of right now. I'm going to get this checked out by the doctor hopefully this week because it hurts way more than it should, I think. But I think I need to just calm down. And, yeah. 
But yeah, if y'all want to comment, feel free to do so because I love to hear y'all's comments. I love to hear from you. Um, it's amazing. It makes my day. I seriously, seriously makes my day. Um, and like and share this video, of course, and always subscribe to find out when you'll have new videos from me. Hopefully, I'll put a new one later this week. All right. Peace.